Good afternoon, dear guests. The time of waiting has passed. We are back from our break, and that means we're back with some interesting talks and some interesting topics and some interesting people and some interesting companies. So please make your way to the comfortable seats here. We still have some of these soft ones in the front here, and I can recommend them. We also have some drinks on the house here, so plenty of reasons to get comfortable. The most important reason of all, though, is the next topic we'll be discussing because it will be an interesting talk. So on stage, we will be talking, um, let's see, I have it all mixed up here. Yes, we will be talking about engineered materials and ceiling components for the hydrogen value chain. An important topic, important for pretty much everybody. So please, a warm applause for, from Saint-Gobain, the application engineer, Hirotaka Sato. Thank you so much for taking the time to come out here today. Uh, my name is Hiro Sato. I am an application engineer for OmniSeal Solutions uh, under the Sangoban High Performance Solutions division. Today, I'd like to tell you about what kind of materials and solutions that we can offer you today. So to start with, who is Sangoban? Well, we are a strong global group with a purpose of making the world a better home. Uh, some interesting key facts here are that we have over 350 years of experience and over eight R&D centers worldwide. In those eight R&D centers, there's approximately 3,600 researchers, which means we put an emphasis on research and development. And finally, if you look at our financial numbers, we're quite stable and steady in terms of financial needs. Some of the things that we do produce, some components that we have today, uh, are Omni seals, metal and polymer seals, which, if you were listening, is the division that I'm from. Then we have the zero pro ceramics materials, which are based on zirconia. And finally, the versive composite materials, which are mainly thin sheets of films that could meet all your application needs. Now, the unique thing about this is that we have material expertise in each of these divisions where we can have the power to innovate with a very global footprint. And the key message here is that together, we'd like to come up with solutions to engineer a better, more safer, and greener world. What do you see here on the screen is this lovely infograph that we have, which you can definitely see at our booth as well. Uh, it's at C55. And what this highlights here is the solutions that we provide throughout the hydrogen value chain, from production to the end use. Now, what you see on the, the, the image here is quite selective. But the thing is, we're always continually improving, finding new solutions. And so if you have applications outside of these fields, they're more, more than welcome to accommodate your requests. Just please come by our booth. Next thing I would like to discuss is who OmniSeal Solutions is. Uh, we're a ceiling manufacturing company, and the way we design things is quite interesting. We have a unique approach to problem solving. The, the main thing is that we first have a very concrete discussion with our customers on what your application needs are, the temperatures, the pressures, uh, the operating conditions, the functions of the, the seal itself. And we try to imagine how the seals will fit into that uh, application. Uh, from there, we look at the material choice that we have and see what kind of materials are our best fit for your solutions. On top of that, we have uh, years of experience in terms of design capabilities. And so we'll add our material knowledge to the designs and finally com compose a solution that might work for you. Now, the neat thing about those two things are that we do have the experience, we do have the capabilities, but on top of that, we have our simulation expertise, which is where we'll use our specific material understandings to produce uh, simulation models and understand in a mathematical model way how our ceiling functions will go into your applications. And what this tells us is it helps us to understand if we see any kind of uh, failures ahead of actually producing the seals and sending them out to the customers. Now, and the final step is that we put an emphasis on precision process. Uh, because 
without having the actual parts, you know, we, we can have all the discussions on creative materials, creative designs, and show you the simulations, but without having the parts in your hands and being able to test them, there's really no point. And so we're looking at cost-effective solutions there as well. The great thing about our solutions is that we have four different components, two, two types for ceiling and two for work components. And we can supply the entire value chain with these four solutions. Some things to point out here are that our polymer solutions are really used for dynamic applications, while our metal seals are more for static conditions. And a key fact for our metal seals is that we can reach, uh, we've done helium testing uh, from 10 to the minus 10 millibar liters per second. And that's kind of the figures that we see in metal seals. And one more important topic to talk about with ceiling company than leakage. You know, everybody sees leakage, everybody faces the troubles and issues. And what I'd like to point out here is that leakage could have a huge impact on global warming. Now, I'm not going to go into the details because I'm sure you're more than well aware and are experts in the field as well. But some of the key findings that we find are that there's really not, not is not the very good word, but poor H2 leakage detection and monitoring today. Uh, and so what we'd like to think about in terms of recommendations is to kind of do R&D studies to improve our understanding of current leakage issues and to expand upon how we can support the R&D programs for mitigation. What have we done so far in terms of understanding how performance related to ceiling? Well, we've done some material property testing, and we found this to be extremely crucial to understanding how our seals are performing. What we did find in industry is that not all tests are really done in hydrogen conditions. It's a really key aspect here is that we've actually tested our materials in hydrogen environments. And today, I have the pleasure of sharing with you permeation and the trouble electrical properties of H2 and LH2. So let's get into it. Here you see the permeability rate of your commodity rubbers, just everyday O-rings that you can buy, compared with our omni seal fluoropolymers. Now, this graph is relative, uh, so it's normalized data. And what we notice is that when we jump uh, to double the pressure of 350 bar to 700 bar, uh, you get around five times the rate, which, is, which tells us that O-rings are not consist consistent as we increase the pressures. Now, that's commodity rubbers. For our Omniso solution, fluoropolymers, what you'll notice is that when we do increase the pressures, uh, there is a consistent stable line. And so if you're looking for a solution that is consistent, then fluoropolymers might be the, the right product for you. Next, I'm going to share a little bit about the tribological properties that we've seen so far. And what you see here is that we've done multiple PTFE compounds in hydrogen and LH2. Uh, the blue line, the light blue line, represents air, where the orange represents hydrogen gas, and the dark blue is liquid hydrogen. For liquid hydrogen, we didn't really see much of a difference in the PTFE compounds. And so what we are basing our understanding our material choices on the wear cap capabilities, which you see on the right side. Some interesting, another interesting fact is that we do find that TFM is quite uh, superior in terms of tribological properties. So just for your information. And now we're on to our applications page. So a neat thing to mention here is that we do have solutions looking at uh, large diameter gaskets. Uh, by large diameters, we're saying in the range of 1.5 meters and higher. And we've come up with a material choice that has very high creep resistance in terms of material capabilities. And we are doing chemical compatibility tests with hydrogen, oxygen, and KOH. That's just one example of a hydrogen application that we're working on. The next one will be for our refueling stations. 
And for the refueling stations, you have all these separate components, valves, you know, uh, storage tanks, regulators, and all these things. And for here, we're proposing the OmniSeal polymer seals for dynamic applications. And again, for the static, the low leakage, the, very, uh, the need for a very low leakage, we're providing metal sealing solutions. Last but not least, we have our OmniSeal polymers and metal seals for the fuel cell electric vehicles. The key thing I want to point out here is that we have a very broad range of applications, products available for the fuel cells. Uh, you can see on the screen we have one, two, three, four, five different sets of solutions, and they're all very customized. What this tells us is that for your given application, there is no one solution fits all. There's not going to be one solution that meets all your needs. And so we really need to focus in on the application details to communicate better, to understand what you need, and finally produce a solution that really works with your applications. Now, what you should take care, what you should take away from our presentations today is, which I forgot to mention, my goal today was to not bore you after lunch, I'm sorry, <laughs> and also to make sure you take something away from us that is um, useful. So, key things, we have a broad range of engineering products for the hydrogen value chain, and I hope you're now aware of that. And we now have a very differentiation, we have a very good way of differentiating ourselves by finding ways to co-develop with our customers using our material science background, our innovation skills, and yours truly, the application engineering team. And finally, a global manufacturing footprint. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to what I have to say. Uh, again, our booth is at C55. If you have any questions, any concerns, any application details you'd like to discuss with us, uh, we're more than happy. We're very happy to talk with you. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. And a warm applause indeed.